Dick Allen for a mark to win or a nine out. So if he hits the pocket the here, Rob, it's pretty much all she wrote. The underdog's champ moves on. How about that for the rest of the day, bro? How about, the rest of the day? How about you just keep making shots like that? Oh, God, that's four out. Dick Allen needs a mark to move on to the title match. Kyle Troop, your one seed. Five strikes in a row, looking for six. And he'll move on! Can we put that graphic back up? Clutch. <laughs> he's accelerating, he's not breaking, he's using that clutch when he needs to. Dick Allen. The third time you've done it. First pair of strikes for Dick Allen. Ooh. And he lost his water bottle. And he's distracted Tom Smallwood. We've got to clean up aisle five. Clean up aisle five. Yeah, there's water everywhere, and that's really bad in, in the sport of bowling. You get that on your shoe, and the next thing you know, uh, you take a header when you get to the foul line. You never want to get your shoes wet, obviously, and so we've got a little bit of a cleanup going on. And that floor has to be completely dry. Players will look at the bottom of their shoes and make sure that they didn't get saturated. The good thing for Tom Smallwood was through this accident, he was standing well away from the spillage. It's, it's one of the, the hardest things as a player to do when you lose confidence in your footing. When you feel like, am I going to stick? Is it going to slide normally? Am I going to overstick now because I've cleaned my shoe? That feeling of hesitation changes the way you let the ball go dramatically. Hopefully for Dick, he didn't feel like he had any of that water on his foot. We're about to find out. The hazmat crime scene has scrubbed the water eruption, courtesy of Dick Allen. By the way, this looks like the scene underneath my restaurant table every time I go out to dinner with my kids. There is always at least <laughs> one beverage spill. So the crew came out to dry it out. By the way, you guys, it's water for crying out loud. You jumped from it like it was, you know, like nuclear acid yeah. being spored, uh, spilled on you, but I, I get it. You know, there's the signs when you leave the restroom at every bowling center, please watch your feet, yeah. make sure they're dry. Yeah, we bowlers would prefer nuclear acid on the ground <laughs> than, than water. Smallwood to close out the seventh. The break phased him. Here to go. Strike hard, strike first. No mercy. Back-to-back oh. -back opening doubles for both of them. Look. Come on. Yes. Again, going to the point. It has been a strike fest here, and it continues for Smallwood. Perfect through five. Not my best effort. He didn't like it, but he'll take six straight to start. I think the only downside to that full rolling release is you're limited in terms of how many different layouts you can use in a bowling ball. Uh, Randy, I'm looking at my police scanner. It's showing an early report of a chase on I-300. Yep, there it is. We've got a chasing 300 alert. Three tour titles. Two of them have been at majors. He's perfect through eight. The nerves help him. More comfortable, and it shows that he is comfortable through nine. Perfection. This guy, is, he's a different type of bowler when it's a major, and he's under the lights. Give me one! Yeah, I'm done. I'm I know done. you are. I, I'm ready for you to get on the lanes. Troop. Start the six, gets the strike. You know, what's really interesting to me, guys, is that just how much farther to the inside Kyle's break point is. 
<laughs> than Dick Allen's. Real quick, I, I find that interesting, right? There's so much pressure. There's so much money at stake. Kyle's been talking about, I'm serious. You get the sense that, you know what? I need to lighten myself up. I need to get back to who I am. Have some smile. Pick it out. Relax and enjoy. Maybe he's putting too much pressure on himself, the weight of getting that first major. Huge ham bone for Troop. That much closer to his first major. And guess what? With this next shot that Kyle Troop throws in the 10th frame, he's basically going to say, hello world, I have arrived. I am legit. I'm real. I'm not a sideshow. I'm a main event. Yeah. NASCAR Cup Series racing from Daytona coming up next. But first, it's Troop nine pins away from history. Monday saying it's a major week. Sunday, it's a major title. Finally, for Kyle Troop. Granny, that Woo! adjustment in the sixth frame was a $250,000 adjustment. Love you, Mom. Tyler, Tyler, Brian, Cindy, love all y'all. Thank you, Storm. Four X, Team Fish, Vice, Four Wick. Oh my God. Thank you all the fans too. Y'all make this possible. Love all y'all. So happy for that young man. Sideshow to main eventer. Kyle Troop gets the win next Sunday live here on Fox 1 Eastern. We're right back here for the Kia PBA Tournament of Champions, the second major of this year. Coming up next year on Fox, though, we're going to head north. NASCAR race day, followed by NASCAR Cup Series racing from the Daytona Road Course. For Randy, Kimberly, Jason, our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. Kyle Troop is your PBA Players Championship winner.